hockey fan or not, here in Minnesota, you've likely heard the phrase, let's play hockey. But you probably didn't realize where it came from. And you might be surprised to learn it was actually born from tragedy. Boyd Hooper has a story of heartache that spurred a search for the perfect words. Took our knocks in the penalty box. Football has its coin toss. Born a child of the strong and the wild. Baseball has play ball. Thank you for coming to Excel Energy Center. And hockey in Minnesota. Let's go wild. Has its own way of starting. Let's play hockey! A three-word phrase. Let's play hockey! Echoing outside Excel Energy Center. Let's and in. But who came up with it? That was my dad, Bob Utek. Bob Utek. Right here. From frozen rinks to father Can to I Jeff, Greg, and Jennifer. This is our dad, Bob Utek. To the Minnesota North Stars rink announcer, who was there on the team's darkest night. Listening to it on the radio, I can remember just hearing Bill Masterton is down, he's unconscious. Just this huge sadness that came over us, you know? January 13th, 1968, unhelmeted North Star Bill Masterton hit his head on the ice. Then and now, the only skater ever to die playing in an NHL game. Yeah, it was a, a tremendously uh, difficult moment. So what is a rink announcer to say after the memorial that started the next home game? He was yeah. thinking about it all day. Yeah. All day. Tense nervous till the memorial ended mm -hmm. and Bob Utek came up with the words he would say for the first time it's time let's play hockey simply yep. yeah perfect and he did it every game that he announced four years later Bob repurposed his catchphrase to name the hockey newspaper he founded that just celebrated 50 years the phrase that morphed into an empty promise. Stop. When 30 years ago this spring, One final rousing ovation. the North Stars broke Minnesota's heart when the team left for Dallas. We're done. We, we no longer exist. Or so it seemed. Now we talk National Hockey League action. Until seven seasons later. Welcome to the XL Energy Center and the National Hockey League's return to Minnesota. And who better to signal the start of the Minnesota Wilds' first home game? It's time now, so let's play hockey! We aren't the North Stars, and we weren't going to be the North Stars, but we could honor a lot of the things that fans remembered and celebrated about the NHL team that had left here. So Bob was invited back. 2002. Again and again. And in between visits, Bob had help. Let's play hockey! It's part of the fabric of being at a wild game. And on it goes, from the pros, ladies and gentlemen, to Minnesota's backyard rinks. Let's play hockey! On it goes, even without Bob, who was 86 in September of 2006. Bob Utah! When the father of the phrase was welcome to the X, for the last time. Even though he was using a walker by then. It's time now. Nothing was gonna keep him away from doing it. So let's play hockey. Nine months later, the Navy vet received military honors at Fort Snelling National Cemetery. This was my dad's. Well, it's like a treasure, you know, and, and where else to bring it but the hockey game. Greg Utek goes to a lot of them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as rink announcer for, for Eastview game. High School. Number 16, Nick Karam. Care to guess how he'll start tonight's game? All right, it's time now. Let's play hockey. I love doing it. It's, it, it, it just makes me feel like I'm back with my dad. From generation Let's to the next play generation. Hockey. Max and Colt Kurtz. Woo. One day shy of five years old. Oh, at once they say, let's play hockey. And about to get yeah. their shot. Hockey. They know it well. We watch it all the time. Wild plays at home. It's let's play hockey. Spurred by a tragedy, Bob Utek created something lasting. We just stand back and watch Enjoy. it and go, that's really yeah. cool that we're connected to that. From the Utek family to Max and Colt's family. It's time to bring the energy. To the state made 
for the phrase. Let's play Void Hooper, Carol Evan News, St. Paul. Just fantastic. And no, some people don't know that story. I was asked to do that one time. I didn't tell you it was so nerve-wracking, but what a phenomenal tradition. Thank you, Boyd, for that story. All right.